Hello and welcome to another episode of Escape from Mars. Today we are going to expand the base with some renewable power and a better place for us to rest between episodes. <laughs> My back was getting sore from having to sleep in the rover cockpit. So let's get to building. Good morning, Kenajashi. How's it going? Hello, it's going good. Another beautiful day here on Mars as... Oh, a power cell convoy has been dispatched. From where? Power cell... Yeah, I don't see it quite oh, yet. Oh, it's, but it's from the southwest. It's a vehicle <laughs> one? Like a car one? Yeah. Okay, maybe we need to, maybe we need to go <laughs> after that. <laughs> oh, man. Immediately, as soon as we start uh, recording the episode, just like, oh, here's what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, we were a menace we last episode. And <laughs> eventually they're going to start uh, buffing their stuff, right? Uh, yeah, they'll have uh, more grids with them, but it just seems like there is a sh single shipment and it is coming uh, this direction. So we could probably head towards like Rover Salvage or something and intercept it and get a bunch of power cells, which I think that's a plan. Always useful because they uh, they contain valuable uh, resources, mainly nickel and such that we yeah. don't have a lot of. <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, let's let's load up and get into our vehicles. Make sure you have all the required stuff. Oh, speaking of which, there's a rifle shipment out there. Yeah, is that like in the same area? Yes! Oh, we're going after two. <laughs> oh, oh, I wonder. Should... The, the bus has been upgraded with additional um, auto cannons. Should we take the bus? Are these all functional? Yes. Uh, we can take the bus then. I'll take uh, I'll take my vehicle here. You can take the bus. And I'll just have to stay. I'll just have to stay back, and not yeah, get into is, any combat. Mine is a little more expendable. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna crash into you. Nope. Yeah, rifle magazines and then power cells directly behind it. Oh, the uh, rifle magazine has a con convoy escort. Oh, okay, uh, we'll have to be a little careful. Those things come at us if we attack them. Yep. But I think with triple auto cannon, I should be able to rip it to shreds. Yeah, I'll try to take aggro as well because I've got some. I've got defenses with the wheels. There they are down the valley. Okay. Where are you? I'm just to your back left. Okay. Although the power cell shipment is alone. Uh, okay. I'm trying to obtain a lock, but it's not really doing it. Alright, getting a lock on convoy escort. Okay, they're just past the... Oh, they know we're here. Yep. Convoy escort is coming straight at me. Okay. He's just about to uh, come up over the ridge line now. All right, my guys, light him up. All right, you're getting shot at. I'm getting shot at. Oh, we're exchanging blows. Okay, his turret is done. I think he's I down. Think he's done. The other I think one need to put is... my turrets into a group here. Convoy under okay. threat. Possible pirate activity. This other guy is oh this guy's still moving oh yeah but now we can move in on the rifle segment there we go okay that guy stopped now <laughs> i'm within range of my shots and almost within range of his take a couple I'm hits on a the little grill bit slow. yeah same but i'm good i'm getting a lock or at least i tried oh my guns are shooting at him yep oh my gosh those things are awesome Oh, hang on, I'm hit by something else. Oh, I'm yeah, flanked. The, the power cell shipment's here. I'm flanked. <laughs> Let me flee here for a second. Oh god, I'm almost dry on ammo. But it looks like yeah, the rifle flanked. magazine shipment is stopped. I think that's it. I think I'm dry. 
Okay, I've got ammo still. I need my guy to actually target that. Oh, there's still some ammo in that gun. Yep. I'm locking it as well, so my guy should start shooting in a second. Oh, it stopped as well. Yeah. Should we cease fire? Yeah, I think I'm completely out of ammo now. Okay, I cease fire here. It's turret, I think it's still active though. I can't tell. Uh, let's see. Uh, we can park up and just hop into our turret control and zoom in on them. Uh, yes, the power cell one is still got a turret, but the ammo one does not. Its turret is uh, flaming. Okay, I'll see if I can shoot this turret here. Should be pretty weak. I'm going to see what salvage there is from this escort here. Okay. I'm just going to get rid of this turret here. Yep. I'm also going to appraise the damage. Eh. Yeah, I've got some as well. I mean, honestly, oh, it's about ahead. like f five steel plates of damage. It's nothing. Okay. Okay, turret is down. Excellent! Alright, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to real quick do some... Uh, Repairs just to make oh, sure yeah, it's yeah. in tip top shape. I'm heading into power cell shipment. Awesome. And then since we're out here anyway, we can head over to rover salvage since it's just a kilometer and a half away. Yeah. If, well, if we have space, that is. 75 cells! My god, that's great. Yeah. Oh, you think that's, um, like almost four small grid batteries. Yeah, that'll supply us for a little bit. And were we grinding down these small grids? The batteries? Uh, I don't know. We could salvage it if you want to. You can stick it on the back of this with the landing gear, right? Yeah, yeah. I ground down the other one, but we can get the... We can get a couple of them at least. Yeah. There is a detach mode, isn't there? Something with the... Yeah, slash detach. Advanced welding. Ooh. To detach a block, equip a hand grinder and hold control or left bumper, then grind a block. Alright, hold control and grind a block. Can access to the detach mode, cannot detach enemy blocks. Oh, pff, that's what happens. Oh, okay. So we have to take over the grid first. But um, what we can do is grind down everything but it and it'll just fall off anyway. True. There we go. Salvaged. Nice. One more. What have we here? So I think this one out of them is the most important because it's uh, allowing us to raid more. I'm going to park back here. <laughs> well, you think I'm going to blow it up? Uh, <laughs> it is an ammo shipment. A hundred mags. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah, 100 mags in each cargo container, so 200 mags in total. There we go. Shouldn't drive anywhere. 200 mags total. I wonder how many auto cannon that'll make. <laughs> I love the way they're like haphazardly stuck on here. get a, another battery on here somewhere. I think I can mount it on the side, maybe? Get it up over the tire? Yeah. I mean, you could technically mount them work. to other batteries, probably. <laughs> Just daisy chain them? Yeah. Uh, I don't know about that. Would you mind unlocking that uh, mag plate? For a second? Yeah, sure. Um, there we go. Am I getting it higher? Let me turn auto lock off for a second. Switch lock. Oh, you weren't holding it? My bad. No, it's alright. Okay, get I it high. I, need to, to lock it I know what I need to do. I need to do this. I need some steel plate. <laughs> Are you just making a ramp? And I need to make a large grid ramp. Come here. 
done. Okay, I locked it. <laughs> Easy peasy. <laughs> Looking good. And now make sure I turn off used for parking on those. So that way I can press P without it going crazy. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, three of these. I kind of wish they were different colors, but <laughs> they're the natural color. Yep. All right, so since we're out here, um, off to River Salvage. Here's our lovely crater. Mm. What lies within but a lot of salvage? We got a little bit hard with the it's done, but it'll do, but it'll do. Uh, I'm going to crash, I'm and right. all this stuff is going to go everywhere. <laughs> yep. But that would make it good content. <laughs> People don't wrong. watch YouTube creators to watch them be perfect all the time. They watch them to see when they fuck up. <laughs> By that metric, this is about to be a really good video. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> it's just the angle, it's weird. Uh. Here, raise your suspension back up. We have a problem. <laughs> What? I lowered my suspension by holding the button that makes it jump. <laughs> okay, well. Uh, <laughs> I'm have gonna release it? Let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, let on the wheels, let on the wheels! Oh, uh, you're good! On feet. <laughs> you're good, you're good. Yeah, I'm not planning on uh, putting that one in. No? You're not? Uh, I mean, I could if I put them on the left and right. Instead of the back like this. <laughs> I could try to grab this one. You could, yeah. Although you already have three small grids. Yeah, or we can just come back with a flying grid for this one. But that would defeat the purpose of tow trips. That would defeat the purpose, yeah. I think you have to try. I think it's high enough right now that I could just... If I drive up to it from this side... And then I lower my front wheels and I catch a, a a mag plate or a landing gear on the top of it, then it should be fine. And you're good. I gotta say, your method looks more... Oh, oh you're, you're getting a better grip? I or pressed P speed? accidentally. <laughs> okay, well here's what you do. Hold down the jump button, go forward, grab it, <laughs> then release. Nope. No, 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 no. I can just hide offset myself. Can you now? Can I push this? Okay, there we go. Uh, 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 landing gear. Yeah, used for parking. There you go. Okay, wheels. Height offset. Back up. Okay, you've got at least a foot of clearance here. That shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, it's going to be a problem trying to get out of this canyon. Uh, do you want to, like, um, go into a hole? <laughs> oh, no! I didn't see the hole! <laughs> okay, that's all the small grid. That's the two of the small grid things broke. None of the ships <laughs> broke. Oh, no, that don't go worry. A large that goes into so the compilation more... of me screwing things up this playthrough. <laughs> um, okay, so we can battery method you out of here. Or... You can try and gyro and friction yourself. Or we can drill. You're gonna get squished though. Yeah, it's okay. I can pay for my crimes by being squished a few times. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you want me to drive this and you drill? Should be able to get myself out of my own messes. <laughs> We've got to be going up an incline. Oh wait, we're going up the valley, so anytime you go up, the valley's also going up. Also, you're headed for another hole. There's another hole right here. Oh. If you turn right, it might be easier. How you doing, battery? Here, I can repair you, don't worry. <sighs> here, cut this thing off. I need to get out of here. Yeah, Come back I, for it. 
There you go. Should be doable. And we're going to keep that there as a reminder of our mistake. My mistake. <laughs> My failure. I knew, the, I knew the hole was there. I could have warned you. I forgot it was there, but I, I had seen it earlier. Because you almost uh, backed into it. All right, we got out of the hole and we lost the battery, but we'll come back for Two it. Two batteries. Two, technically three. There was a, there was a second. Yeah, one I'll come back with the, with the flying grid with that. Yeah, it'll be fine. God. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. Right, right, right. The. Uh, you might not want to go towards the base. Okay. Uh, I can't. I can't actually stop my vehicle. There we go. What is it shooting at? It's the Gatlings on the uh, the flying ship. They're shooting at the unhacked they? battery. Uh, the un oh, I don't have any of those on. <laughs> okay. I forgot. Wow, those things are. Uh, okay, very... all the turrets are off. Thank you. So, I need to hack this thing. I need a uh, slow grinder. All right, I'll go ahead and deposit this battery. Oh yeah, and your battery will be fine because it was already hacked. Yeah. Maybe I'll keep this little landing gear on here just in case. Perfection, no uh, cells broken. Oh my gosh, nice job. Yep. Add you to have the you pile. A, have you done a perfect large grid battery yet? No, not yet. That's like uh, hard mode. I think the math is on like how you grind them down and what, how many components go, um, like how many components get pulled out, is uh, that you can do one. Okay. Oh, yeah. Our motion controller took some damage. <laughs> did it. Poor motion controller. This one over here? Oh my gosh, it did. There we go. It's still having a cheery face, though, so... Of course. Got a lot of solar cells. Why did I get- why do I have so many solar cells in there? Did you just the, solar stuff? The so there was 160 solar cells in the salvage truck. Oh right. They were they were just sitting there. Okay. All right. So the bus is being emptied by the uh, oh God, the sorters. All right. Nice job. And I've emptied the bucket of bolts, as I've called it. Oh, a couple of my cargo containers got damaged. It was a long fight. Oh no, this was from <laughs> our turret shooting us. <laughs> this was the blue on blue fire. So, we were thinking about getting to the next uh, base section online, right? Yeah. And also we got like 520 solar cells. So we need to put those to good use. Absolutely. Um, so, would you like to, would you think it would be good to put a solar tower on top of the power station? Oh, that's a really good idea. I was thinking like out there somewhere, but now that you say that, that would actually look really cool. Yeah, well, we can do it out there somewhere and run a power cable back if you want to. We could run mm -hmm. it like, uh, like 50 meters or so uh, southwest towards the sun as it is now and put a big tower. Or we can just put a smaller one on top of the station here. We could do... Yeah, I think a big one out there would be kind of cool. Alright. Alright, so then right here... Uh, I'll put a little 3x3 platform. So I have 25 blocks out. 
So 25 is the middle of the platform. And then we can start uh, building up the tower. Okay. Uh, cylindrical columns. Love those blocks. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tall. All good? Yeah, that should be fine. And I guess eventually we could have a tunnel going out to there, just like we have. Oh yeah, definitely we could do that if we want to. It would be neat to have a little a little underground tunnel connecting the entire base. And then on here. Need some uh, armor blocks, probably. So how does this work? It turns that way and it turns this way. So we just need an armor block and then a camera. <laughs> oh, it's going to fall. And then we can uh, weld this all up. All right, so now we need a turret controller. Which we can put down here. And we'll go, and I'll name all these for the solar. So we don't- Just so we know. Mess them up. I'm building our columns as well. Nice. Custom turret controller. And you go into it, you assign the rotor, the azimuth, it's uh, it's the azimuth to the rotor, the elevation to the hinge, the camera to the th camera, and then you go always aim at sun. Oh, neat. And, okay. And it's doing it. Don't need a script or anything. Nope. It's done. All I have to do is just add... Uh, add solar cells to it. Oh, you're doing it like that. Okay. Does that sound good? Uh, yeah. Let's how, get the other how, one. I which way do you want like, to do it? Well, this, this is good. This is good. I mean, we can... Well, you uh, want to see my hair? Let's, let's see. I've got an idea. Okay. Ah, timber! Caught it. Just in time. Nice. We could do a similar thing with it coming out on this side. And we could have it... Energy low. ...like uh, this. All right. Okay, that looks pretty good. I like it. So we can have a bunch of these. How many solar cells do we have? Oh, we have enough for like, uh, I don't know, 30, 40 solar panels. All right. So we've got lots. And it may be dark now, but we'll have the solar panels and when the sunrise comes up. Oh, yeah. Nice job on the solar panels. Mm -hmm. This is looking good. And they're still getting four bars, even as the sun's kind of starting to go down there. How are they getting four bars? Uh, space engineer's magic. <laughs> it's got to be. We can also double them up. Oh, right. Yeah. That's a very weird space engineer's ism. Yes, it is. But it works, and so it I'm not going to complain. Okay, looking good. Now I know one more thing you wanted to do around this base is make a, um, a habitation station. <laughs> yeah, we need a place to sleep. Yeah, we do. We haven't had one this entire time. I've been sleeping next to the hydrogen engine. <laughs> it's not very good for your sanity. No, not at all. So I was um, thinking just right here, right? 
That's perfect. Our base is going to be very square. Uh, but square is good. Hey, it's hip to be square. <laughs> I'm going to get more interior plates and we can get this thing going. Uh, you can take um, leadership on the design here because I know this is the, the thing you've been wanting to do for a long time. Get this habitation situation up and running. Well, I wanted to build it in the shape of an L. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. Uh, to commemorate all the times we <laughs> crash our ships? Yeah, every time we take the L. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, Okay, seven, I think that's going to be cool. Ten. Eleven. So then this would be... One, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. I'll build up a couple... Or I'll, I'll put in a couple of these. <clears throat> oh god, I'm dying. On a Sunday. And there we go. Oh, this is cool. So, right... Here? Or do I want to make it one skinnier? Uh, one skinnier. Okay. Yeah. A block is like, gonna get eaten up on each like side. Like this. That shit. I like it. That's cool. Because we're gonna need two bedrooms in there, right? Yeah. And so I was thinking that we would have an entrance, which would be. We do the entrance like right here. Yeah, we could. Uh, where's? Yeah, it would kind of light up with this one, on this. And unfortunately, since it's just a man thing, we don't need a whole gate. I know how much you like them. <laughs> They're so nice! It's okay though, it'll look good, but it, it'll look fine without a gate. This is the gate section of the base. A door, I like it. We're gonna need lots of windows, probably. Alright, I'm thinking we can do one bedroom here. So we can put a bed there. Okay. And then the door to enter this room will be here. Nice, I like it. And then the door to enter the other room. How do I want to do this? Or do you want to have... We want to have a shared entrance, right? Yeah. Shared main I think, entrance. I think we just need one more block here to make this work for my, for my brain. Okay. We need a hallway. So if we do this, then we can have a hallway coming back this way. And each of the doors can go like that into the rooms. Mmm, I like it. There'll be a storm of brewing. And then you have like a, a two by three room with a bed in the wall that you can decorate how you wish. I like it. Or would you like a uh, three by three room? I don't know. Um, I put mine two here. By three, two by three is good. We can do this. And then we got this the little space back here, and we can put the toilet. Yeah. That looks good. So it's very easy to come in, grab your med bay stuff, and leave. Everything's accessible. I like this. Yeah. So which, which uh, bedroom do you want? The far one or the close one? I'll take the close one. Okay. I gotta install a bed here, then. And it's up to you to decorate it. It's an interior design episode! Yeah! With a little bit of combat! And a little bit of scavenging! Ooh. Actually, oh, what we could do? Um... Ow! We wanna have... We're gonna put a shower. 
Well, we could always go up a second story. True. But we can also, if you don't, what we could do is we cut into the wall here. And we can put a oh, shower Oh, you can cut into there. my wall as well. Because these have a flat back. So you can cut into this wall. Yeah, but it's cutting into your space in case you need it. I don't know what I'm going to do get, with that wall. I can just, what? I'm sorry? <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with that wall. Oh, okay. Then I can just do it like that. And we can put like a bathroom facing that way. Yeah, yeah. And I can put like pictures shower and stuff. there. I get some energy here. And then we can put a door here. And it would actually be like a full on bathroom. Oh, I like it. That's awesome. Oh, I need a Whip's image converter. Oh, yeah. I mean, for now, I can just put on a random. Uh... Gosh, never mind. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, what? I had innocent I had innocent reasons for putting that in there, okay? I thought it looked cool until I realized you could see through it. <laughs> the Willis duct? Yeah, I was like, I'm just gonna put a Willis duct, it's like a secret escape, until I realized I'm looking into the bathroom for <laughs> a <laughs> secret. <laughs> you little beaver. <laughs> yeah, let's remove that one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put a oh, I'm out, of energy, out of energy. Yeah, I'll put a random wall in. I think. Oh, you're making your room feel much more expansive. I uh, yeah, I use some blocks to make it feel. Give yourself that a little, little extra height. I like that. Yeah, you do what you can. Let's see if I can get the uh, med room built up. Built up. Sounds good. Not sure if we have enough uh, med components to build it without deconstructing the current one. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. It's built up everything but the med components. We can deconstruct this one, but we would first need to make the pipe connection. Yep, that's not too hard. We can get a work on that next. Yeah. I'll get myself a drill. Okay, I'm going to start digging down here a little bit. Alright, I await the explosion. There will not be an explosion. <laughs> Magic. I'll plan this out. Magic! Like, literally in line with the staircase down here. That would be nice. I hear you. Hey! Okay, here's the thing. It's all ready for you. Plug it in. All right, so I'll deconstruct the, the meta room. I'm gonna. Oh, I was, I was just about to test this one to make sure it worked, but. And uh, build this one up. Bada boom! Awesome. And you can get oxygen hydrogen from here now. Let's check it out. And we can change our suit color. It means I can clean up this section of the uh, temporary base. Yeah, that is the ultimate goal, to get that temporary base gone. Got our planters. Is a nice set of weapon racks. Oh, that looks good. Oh, something I might want to add here is some cryopods. Oh yeah. Uh, in the rooms or like outside the rooms? Do you have room in your room? I mean, my room doesn't have much room in it. Well, I gotta see your room. I haven't seen it. We can make it work. Come on in. Oh my gosh, this is cool. Oh, this is awesome. You got a corner desk? The, you, you got the poster? 
a very luxurious couch with room behind it as well. This is so yeah. cool. Your room is actually a room. Pipes in the <laughs> ceiling? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Pipework. I like it. Thank you. And then your space, I, 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 I so spacious. You got so much extra leg room around here. Yeah, I, I like to run tracks around here. You need to do some decorations though. Yeah, I'm not much of a decoration person, but I could definitely find some posters at the nearest Walmart. So we could, if you wanted to put them in our rooms, have one each, we could take this block out, this interior wall, and oh, yeah. we could um, run conveyor to here, and we could share this block and, and put conveyor a, a cry on each side of it. Okay. Um, if you wanted to do it that bed, way. The bed does not have cryo technologies. Dang. Unfortunately, no. Cryopod. So we could put a junction here and then a cryopod into that. Yeah, I'll, I, I don't know if it's going to look good. I, I really like the corner desk you had over there. Or we could put a couple cryopods in here like this. This might be better. Okay. Well, I will put that back. To how or we can make a basement. <laughs> put them in the basement. We could. Uh, we can we can just turn this into a uh, junction and yep. put another junction and then just uh, put some cryos off of those. Call it good. I like it. Cryos require three medical components each. Mm hmm. So we'll have to get a little bit of uh, a little bit of that. Okay. There we go. That's one one cryo up. Hooray! We've got two of these. One's green, one's yellow. That's kind of cool. Oh, it's it's closing too far. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it might be. I wasn't gonna say anything. Oh well, <laughs> silly. Just a bug with the uh, the, the mod for it. <laughs> and then we can put some storage down here, like that. Armory. Ooh. Okay. Weapon rack. Lockers. Armory lockers. Nice. I like it. So we come out of uh, cryo sleep, essentially. Pop out and we go, all right. Need my guns. <laughs> yes. Oh, I have an idea to sink. Uh an industrial assembler into the wall there. Oh, that's gonna be cool. Ah, oh, explosions! <laughs> oh god, I, I took out the ramp. Oh, I'm actually cutting into the outside. Uh, I <laughs> did me I didn't mean to take away okay. this much dirt. It's okay, we'll put a tree here or something. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll decorate over that, okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, storm be a brewing. Thankfully, we can hide underground. And we'll throw in yeah. one extra cryo, just in case we ever have somebody come and visit. Wait, storage shelves actually take storage? Is that yeah. a mod thing? Yeah, it's a, it's part of the animated uh, stuff. So if you uh, if you open this one up and I start putting stuff on it, you can see it's to populate some stuff. Uh, they don't take storage by default, though, right? Uh, no, they don't. Okay, that's kind of cool. It's part of the animated stuff mod. And then I'll put the industrial assembler in. We're out of construction components? Uh, maybe. Ah, oh, we can build them, though. Okay. How are we doing on iron, actually? I mean, whatever we're doing on iron, we should be fine because we can always just deconstruct uh, steel plates. Yeah, true. We have hundreds of steel, thousands of steel plates. <laughs> yeah, but look how many, how much scrap metal we have. That's a Miki trip right there. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, it has been kind of burning a hole in our cargo containers.
There we go. This is nice. I like this. All right, it's complete. Without yeah, we'll a light, though. Yeah, we'll put an inset light down here. Okay. I just have a giant spotlight down here. Look behind you. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> that should be what's in my room. That's my decorations. There's spotlights everywhere. Um, there we go. Playing with the lights just to get them uh, set up here. There we go. Nice. It's a little Turn muted. That's okay. It's a basement. At least you can, it's not, it doesn't have to be vibrant. At least you can see everything. Yeah. All right. Three medical components built. I'm just going to finish off this last cryo. Oh, it's awesome. I love it. And do we have cargo access here as well? And we have our bedrooms and our bathroom up here. This is perfect. Yeah. There, I have one decoration outside my room. Oh, I'm gonna come see. Just gotta get this light built. Nice. Adds light to the area. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. It's like I'm a teenager all over. <laughs> Sticking those things on the door. Absolutely. Oh, this is this is a building. This is nice. Yeah, we got that weird shape cool. to it, which forced us to 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 build a strange uh, with strange ways. I'm glad you went with this L shape. A square would not have done it justice. Now I gotta do something here to cover up this hole that I dug. Uh, yeah. Well, a which, list which reminds me, we down. do do we want to put upgrades on this thing? Uh, Some is this gonna be our main assembler? I was thinking. Okay, yeah, let's put up. Uh, what upgrades does this take? The speed and the power? Uh, yeah. You wanna put a speed and a power? Um, do you I'm know the, uh, because speed adds a lot of power usage. Do you know if the power one cancels that? Uh, I think they cancel out. Okay, maybe we do a speed and a power then. Wouldn't be that bad. All right. Because if we want to, we can dig down deeper and put a power on the bottom as well. Oh, two powers? Yeah, we could do that. If we wanted to. Not sure that we're going to need speed, because we are... Most of the stuff we get is from scavenging anyway. True. So you just want to do two powers? Yeah, maybe. All right. I'll put the second power efficiency on right now. We'll just go crazy with power. We'll have a lot of batteries, and we'll be very frugal with our power usage. There we go. So this assembler here is now 224% power efficiency. Awesome. So that means we can go get rid of that other assembler. Another thing from the pile. <laughs> Where's the other assembler? Uh, over the here. Bottom? Oh yeah, get rid of that guy. It's looking pretty clean. Mm-hmm. More and more. As we get towards our final goal of uh, replacing that entire section. Yeah. Ooh, I have an idea. Okay. How to fix up my error that I made. <laughs> Your error. My searchlight. Oh. You could even raise that up if you wanted to another block or two. Okay, I like that. Where can that see right now? I can see most of the base. But yeah, one more block maybe. One more? Yeah. There you okay. go. Perfect. <laughs> The sun's coming up. The sun's rising. Our solar tower is twisted to uh, look at it. Yeah. How's their how's their uh, productivity going? They've got power. Four bars. Dang. Okay. I guess we can just go ahead and build up the uh, second layer of them. If it's going to work. 
Uh, yeah. You might as well. I mean. All right, I'll get six of them. Ooh, I'm not sure if we have that many. Oh! <laughs> I think I flew right into you. Yeah, I think we both died. <laughs> OSHA violation! Head-on collision. Yeah. Uh, I think I have enough for about... three or four more. So I'm not sure if we want to do double up right away. Or we could do, like, another set going outwards? Maybe, yeah. Because these, I mean, right? Could, these are, these are getting bars, well. and the ones underneath them are getting bars. Yeah, yeah, so that's fine. Let's just double them up as we get the resources to do so. So everyone says you can double them. Can you triple them? I don't know. Does light just not go through these? Or, or like, go through these 100%? Because then, in theory, you could just, like, put on. Another... Well, I think, I think the main thing is that they're so close to each other. Like, if you look at the you edge don't here, any extra blocks. this one is on the far right side of a block, where this one's on the far left side of a block. Yeah. So, I think that might be a reason why. It works that way. But they are full power. They are getting as much uh, as we can. And we can also build some more solar cells, too. So. It's just silicon, right? I can go to our new industrial assembler, which is our. Oh, still got a nickel. And we can just click like one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So. Shall we jump into the flyer, fill it with scrap, and head on over to Miki's? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, there we go. We're good, we're good. We can send Miki's scrap. Look at all the um, rotating uh, ore detectors on his roof. Uh, oh my gosh. That makes them look really cool. They look like little air conditioning things. Yeah. Alright, my connector is right above. Okay. Yep, it's looking good. Connector. Uh... I believe I can just collect all and throw out, because I've got nothing else on here except for a couple Gatling guns. Uh, let me just maybe take the ammo out of the Gatling turrets. I'm not sure if they'll get sucked out with the, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Off. I'll take them out just for safety. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Alright. Collect all, throw out. There it goes. You are best customer over here. Only customer over here. <laughs> oh, look stuff. at all the resources popping out. Yeah. Oh, look at all that stuff. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff. Get a couple of randomized resources. Come down here and check this stuff out. <laughs> Is this going to hit the object limit and start despawning? Uh, maybe. We should start picking these up. <laughs> okay, let's, let's grab a couple, couple of items, courtesy of Miki. Okay, it seems like all, like, iron items. Yeah, it's just basic iron components. Let's see. But that's great! 600 small steel tubes, that's incredible. Oh, it's 300 more, that's 900 small steel tubes. Yeah. Plates. You got like a thousand interior plates. Yeah. That's wow, great. That's yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Miki. Miki's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, we got to try out this thing at some point. The, the vehicle destroyer. 
We need to find a vehicle that we can sell. Yeah, so maybe the next time we take a, a uh, take out a shipment, we, instead of grinding it down, we grab it with this thing and fly it over here and dump it in there and see yeah. what Miki gives us for it. <laughs> that would be awesome. Ready to head home? Ready to head home. Thanks, Miki. It's been a pleasure doing business. All right. Oh, you're going to press the button? Pressing the button. All right. I think we're a little far away. The AI move is only moving at 10 meters a second. I'm going to speed it up until we get close to the base. Okay. Oh, we're right over the the light. How close are we? Oh, we're fine. We're like three oh, blocks above close. it. Yeah. I'm in first person on the top of the ship. It looks a little scary. Go, go, auto land. And... Yeah! It did it! And... The battery's on a recharge already. Automatically. Confidence in AI restored. <laughs> Convoy dispatched. We're no longer fully restored. Uh, that's a Gatling ammo shipment. Oh. That's a really important shipment. Do you want to go? I mean, we could go conquer it. I, I think we need to. I guess I'll take my truck, or should I make some auto cannon? Uh, your call. I think I'm going to take the, the bucket of bolts again. I want to make some auto cannon ammo. I'm going to take that with okay. me. And I'll take the bus. Again. All right. Because I like its triple auto cannons. I think it does really good damage. It is powerful, yeah. Twenty mags. Okay. Twenty mags. That's a lot. Yeah, it'll uh, work. Okay. Let me. I have some stuff in my connector. I want to get rid of. Actually, I had power cells in here. I don't know why. Oh, probably just leftovers. Yeah, I don't want them to get uh, destroyed. Character weapons. Ka-chow. All right. All right, turret's on. Yeah, I think this uh, Gatling ammo here will give us enough uh, weaponry, uh, you know, enough gun juice. Got him, what am I saying? <laughs> Enough bullets that we can take the secret weapons facility. Yeah. Alright, I got a lock. You got a lock? Okay, I'll lock mine uh, as well. Is he going to come close enough that we can just stay on this ridge? I wonder. I hope so. I don't really want to go into the valley. After. No, because we're going to lose lock, and then we're going to have to get closer to him that way. Hmm. So I hope that if I just perch here, he's going to come within 800 meters, and I'll have a line of fire on him. Under threat. Okay. Oh, they know we're here. Activity. Oh, yeah, this is... Yeah, here we go. I'm going to get him. Oh my gosh, that auto cannon. I think you got I think you got the turret already. Yep, turret's done. Oh my gosh. Uh he's not stopping though. But his turret's no. done. So let's That's move okay. on. Let's in. go pirate him. We'll board him. That auto cannon is deadly. So that's the benefit of t setting to only target weapons. Is look how un undamaged he is. Yeah. That was incredible. Good job, AI. What do we have here? Uh, I don't know that you're going to stop him that way. Well, at least slow him down. Yeah. 
And I just gotta kill his thruster. Now I'll stop. Oh! I see that. And he'll start rolling. Ah, uh, yeah, because he's got no friction on his wheels. Uh, just gotta put him up on... Get his, get his wheels, so he goes down on his, yep. uh... His axles. Alright. I wanna see what we got for our... Okay, careful with the grinding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are explosives on board. 50 per container. So we're gonna have 100 more... Hey. Uh, ammo. Dang, that's a lot. Considering how but long those things have lasted me. Yeah, 100 more GAD ammo? That's amazing. Yeah. We can break that down. I can make so much auto cannon out of that if we need to. <laughs> Do we want to keep this so we can give it to the dude? Like oh yeah, give it? it to Miki? Yeah, we could, we could try. Do you want to try doing that today? Or do you want to... Uh... Yeah, we could. I guess we could go get the ship and like try and just bring it over there real quick. Yeah. Um, do you want me to stay with this or do you want to stay with this? Oh, I'll just mark it up. Oh, mark it up. I guess it won't be spawn, right? No, no, it's fine. It won't go anywhere. Okay. Oop. We'll try that out Miki's surprisingly uh, well. Furnace. It did. He fired like five shots and it took it out. Yeah, I think I went through one magazine for each gun. Wow. Oh, I just had a great idea. Sensors lost track What's that? Of we have this real long... like, beam coming out here. We could run, cr like, cr like, cargo conveyor, say, underneath it. And we could have this entire area as a parking spot. All along that thing. Oh, that's a really good idea. So it would look like this. We'd back in and we'd drive up to this thing and we'd park right here. That would be kind of like cool. Yeah, I like that. He thought we left it alone. And then <laughs> that must be terrifying to see us on the horizon coming back with a big ship with, <laughs> with a landing gear. Looking good. Just gotta make the connection. Oh, yeah, it's not a parking gotta... one anymore. There you go. Careful flying, because this might make the wind act weird. Yeah, let's not have a repeat of last time. Although it was kind of fun. <laughs> okay, we got it here in one piece. Alright, I'll go down there and operate the controls. Roger that. Pulling into position. Okay. That's, uh... Furnace doors. Furnace doors, yes. Seems about right. I think that's the only control. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Now I will close the furnace doors, and I genuinely do not know how this happens, so I would fly a little far away so it doesn't like uh, despawn the ship or something. Um, oh, okay, he's got it handled. So now... So... So what? Uh, he crushed down to little cubes for us. Should I open the furnace doors again to see what he did? Uh, sure. Oh, but I can't. Oh, maybe he's in process him. doing it. Just, just let the man cook. <laughs> All right. Cook, Mickey, cook. Oh, there we go. Oh, Can it's... Give us oh! oh, it's the materials. Oh, that's awesome! 361 nickel! Some cobalt, silicon iron. Yeah, this is good. So much nickel! Okay, that's we gotta great. bring stuff here more from now on. Yeah! Dude, Miki is awesome! Oh, uh, let, me, let me close this furnace real quick. 
There we go. Yeah, Miki is worth it. There was a lot of hype in the comments about Miki as well. But, uh, but yeah, I didn't expect him to give us this much stuff. But, with all of that, uh, wonderful supplies from Miki, and, uh, various resource convoys, the shipments being intercepted, we've got a lot of materials, we've got our, our own bedrooms all set up. We made a yep, lot of progress dude. today. So much. The base is giant now. The, mm -hmm. the coffers are full, so to speak. Um, and as such, uh, I think next time we have to go after the secret weapons research facility so that we can upgrade our firepower. Maybe even use some of those uh, railgun sabos. Yeah, I think it's about time. I have no clue what to expect over there, but mm. there's only one way to find out. But unfortunately, that'll be for next time, right? That will. But for now. Next episode, I think. Thanks for watching. And thank uh, you, everybody. Good hunting out there, fellow space engineers. <laughs>